Hey guys, Connor Tracy, Big Red SEO. I uh, wanted to do a quick uh, video here with you regarding title tags. It was a new change made by Google, uh, August 2021. And uh, basically now Google may rewrite your title tags if it feels like doing it. Um, so in the past, we've always had issues where uh, the description tag might get rewritten by Google if it makes sense for the user. So sometimes they'll take a snippet of text out of the middle of your website and use that as the description text that shows in the search engine results pages. Um, everybody's come to terms with that, you know, and this new change with Google where they will now rewrite your title tags. We'll all get used to that eventually, but right now it's still new. And uh, basically the way it was explained is that sometimes people use their title tags and they keyword stuff. You put keywords in there that you think are relevant that when it comes to the actual search from the person, it's not really relevant. So uh, what I've done, um, actually I'm gonna use my website, uh, so Big Red SEO. I'm gonna use that to show you what they've done to our website. And honestly, I'm perfectly okay with it. I'll probably make the updates myself uh, so they don't have to do it. Um, but what they're saying is that this title rewrite, um, it'll happen, but about 80% of the websites will never see a title rewrite. Uh, but let's get into what, what it's actually doing. We'll show you what's actually happening. So let me share my screen here with you. Uh, so this is just a general search. Uh, what I did was site colon and then the website name. That brings up every page that Google has indexed for that website. Or it should bring up almost every page, but um, that's debatable. <laughs> but it'll bring up a good chunk. And in here you can see uh, what's going on, uh, what pages are being uh, listed and so forth. Um, the item for us in particular, uh, there were two pages that we found so far. Uh, one was our contact page, and then the other was our SEO services page. So this is the title that Google has rewritten it to. So top search engine optimization service, Big Red SEO. But if we go to that actual page, and I've got it open here, what they've done is taken the H1 off the page and they're now making that the SERP title. So the, the title that shows in the search engine results page. Our actual title on this page, and we'll just bring up the inspect element here and go to the top inside of header, we'll look for title. So this was the actual title that we were giving Google before. The top Omaha SEO company for search engine optimization services. Our primary focus with this particular page is Omaha, Nebraska. But in Google's eyes, they're saying, no, it's just, it's, it's a top search engine optimization service. You don't need to worry about it being Omaha and so forth. So when I did some looking on this page and you know we did a control F for uh, Omaha, and Omaha is mentioned a couple of times and that's fine. Um, but it was interesting when I searched for company, it wasn't mentioned anywhere on the page. Um, so yeah, it makes perfect sense for Google to turn around and say, no, you don't use the top Omaha SEO company. This is really what the title should be, top search engine optimization service. That's what Google is doing. They're taking what's on the page and they're going to rewrite it. Um, another example was our contact page. So what Google has said for our contact page is contact Big Red SEO Omaha, get found online. And what they've done, again, they've taken the h1 tag from the website and they're using that instead of what we have told them contact info for big red seo company in omaha nebraska and then our phone number so we felt it was more relevant to give the phone number to the user so that they had it within the search engine results page without having to go into the website uh, google's interpretation of it if somebody's looking for contact information then it's better to send them into this page where they can get our information, our address, our phone number, or fill out a contact form. But overall, I personally, I'm kind of happy with what they've done. Now they've said that they may take the H1 tag. They might take H2 tags on the page. They might use uh, anchor text. So whatever text you have linked within that page, that might be more relevant for a title. Uh, but the goal is to give the information that the user is actually looking for and get that in front of their faces. Um, sometimes that means rewriting the title tags. Like I said, there can be keyword stuffing in there. You know, you're looking for a plumber and it's best plumber and plumbing and plumbing equipment. 
and it just goes on and on. Well, Google wants to take all of those and just rewrite them. Danny Sullivan is one of the liaisons there uh, from the, the search engine. One of his suggestions or, or hopes with things was that maybe uh, there would be an option that you could click a button to say, don't override this particular title. So we'll see if that ever comes to fruition. Uh, right now, that's not in the books for Google. That's the long and the short of it. You know, this is the biggest change that we've seen since 2014 when it comes to titles. Uh, the last time the title stuff was mo uh, modified by Google, uh, it was 2014. They changed the title length from 70 characters down to 50, 55. Uh, it's actually using pixels, not characters, but uh, it's easier to explain the number of characters to a client. Um, but that was the last big change, 2014. Here we are in 2021, and they've just made another big change. So far, I like what they've done, but we'll see what happens.